Manje o owami. Oh please, owami is a non-factor in my life. So Mzansi, this is how it actually started. Owami posted a video on YouTube and Jackie watched that video and this was her response. Owami has no emotional intelligence. What she subjected Nani to is pure egotistical ignorance and demeaning. And Awami responds with, She only accepts bad behavior when it's from herself. Me refusing to kiss your ass is not mistreating you. You are... Why are you even still watching my stuff like I had even forgotten about your existence? Who are you to accept or not accept over my life? The sun does not rise or shine up your ass. Honey, guys, I've been in this game. Awami just came into the game what four years five years ago i have a 15 year reputation in the entertainment industry in owami then promised her viewers a full breakdown video story time of why her and jackie pamonte are no longer friends and have since blocked each other after taking a trip together to kzn where jackie alleges owami didn't pay anything and doesn't even know the price of the accommodation sundays are definitely for lovers and jackie pamonte was breaking down how her weekend went in the penthouse with her zulu man until someone dropped owami in the comments and after that it was two hours of Owami oh, this, Owami oh, that, and Jackie going hard at it. Here's some of the stuff she said. About me dating an older guy. I told you about me staying in like back rooms, hustling my way through um, Santin, you know, doing the modeling thing. It's in the book. It's in the. I am in a different league than Owami. Oh, I don't care about Owami. Oh, Can we do the maths, guys? I've been. I live in. I was born in Soweto. I'm a Joe Burger. Come on. It only makes sense that I live in Santin. I don't live in Midrand. It also only makes sense for those of you who are not living in Joburg or South Africa so that we bring the reference to Santin versus Midrand into context. This is the average cost of a three bedroomed home in Santin. It's approximately 5 million rand according to property 24 website we also checked out this is a rental of a two-bedroom apartment which is approximately six thousand nine hundred rand so basically you can hear what jackie pamoza is saying let us know if you want us to find the a similar property that's comparable to that for jackie i live in santin my house is in santin the house that i'm filming this in is, is in is in santin i live here I studied, I went to school. I have nine books under my belt. I'm on my 10th book. And you're telling me about Owami? Like, please go, please buy. Like, what the fuck? Like, get out of here. I'm a scholar. I get invited to universities to give lectures. Do you understand? Look at my social media feed. I go to Vids, I go to UCT, I go to Harvard. And you're telling me about Owami? Then get the fuck out of here. My books are used as research in universities. I have a television series going to stream on television. I have a documentary on Show Max. And you want to tell me about Owami? Get the fuck out of here. I've worked hard for my brand. I have a 15-year span in the, in the, in the in entertainment industry. As a whole, entertainment. So, radio, fashion industry, and writing. Arts industry. And you're going to tell me about Owami who got to Joburg in 2021? Get the fuck out of here. It doesn't stop there. Believe me when I say she goes on and on and on. And she's dropping bombs over and over again. Guys, please subscribe, comment, let us know what you think thus far. And let's keep listening. Bay is becoming a television series. You want to see the Porsche in my garage? You want to see the Audi in my garage? Is that what you want to see? Um, it's okay. It's school fees. This is school fees. You know, when you speak of scholars, school fees, school fees. Show me a fucking university you have been to, girl. I get the fuck out of here, man. No, but there are school fees. Guys, we can't make this shit up. It's right here. Kisses, poofies.
you know you can see the highlights what a girl has been studying you you see the notes you're gonna tell me about somebody who googles shit come on respect us we pay school fees okay you can't tell me about somebody who just woke up and took a camera and put on makeup put on a weave the books on my table come on i don't even want to show you my garage because you'll be embarrassed so can we not do this thing because you want to undermine people you want to you want to speak of evil ill people like you want to stand up and say you mean I, I, I i'm a perfectionist guys i'm not a perfectionist i was not born perfect hence i wrote bare if you have read bare i doubt she has because she has no intellectual capacity for any book that for any book really for any book even if it was a a catalog <laughs> if you know how much a Porsche 911 cost you will know if you know what an Audi A3 Sport cost then you shop if you if you know about houses and brands then... Oof, guys now if I were to tell you my real story like the people that come into this house guys you know very well that's why there is there you know that but I'm saying now that you will never read because you have no intellectual capacity <laughs> wow okay I, I i say wow wow because while we engage with professors and academics and researchers zeng in le rena re nyaka go ba gona mo industry re lokile ba re go strateng ba re fa content as my new guy lg please play stibela Thank God for smart TVs and all that stuff because you can just voice activate. I love you, Jack. I love you, Gracie. People don't understand how much you work to get here. You had to do a lot of healing on your own. Dude, the amount of therapists that I paid over a period of four years. I paid a therapist to get me out of the shit that is in bed. If you have read The Blessed Game, if you have read The um the hockey club if you have read ego you will understand how much grief and sorrow and trauma treasure went through and here you are trying to guess me guess like me for for views on youtube that's why you'll never grow you'll never grow you never you know you know one thing i've learned in life is that never use other people's traumas to inflate your ego never use other people's traumas to inflate your ego because you missed the opportunity to learn you miss the opportunity to learn because you are so hell bent on being right you can't accept criticism even if it when it's constructive because nobody can tell you anything i will sue that fucking SUV driving my post behind you. The negativity, no, babe, no. I'm not that type of babe. Like, I wake up in the morning with six figures in my account. You want to sit behind your iPhone, what, iPhone 5, iPhone mm -hmm. SE, talk about me. Babe, I'm having champagne on a day at 4 o'clock. I won. Exactly. I won. Like, I won. I'm sure people going to watch this video be like, shit, she thinks she's the shit. I definitely am. I'm the shit and more. Twice yeah. on Sunday. All day. Disrespect me like that. That's why I'm here. My mission is very clear. But when a girl like that steps on my toe, she brings out the wolf in me, the pit bull in me. And but honey, I will sue your ass. Driving my Porsche behind you, and my friend will drive my Audi behind you. I'm gonna have a big problem. I'm gonna because I'm gonna have one guy to her that you like it to me. Never wanted you. You never deserved being in my space. 
I was kind enough to take you in after your fucking husband did that whole thing to that girl on YouTube. I took on I took you on holiday. I paid for that apartment. You don't even know what that apartment costs in Zimbabwe. You don't know. I took videos without my fucking permission for your YouTube channel. I paid for that accommodation. And you want to grab a mic and tell people that you want to expose me? Expose me. There's everybody knows what's in the hockey club. It's not a secret. I went on ENCA for that. I went on CNA, CNN for that. I was interviewed by BBC for that. And you think you're gonna expose me? Okay, to catch you up, so Owami has a 42 minute video uploaded to her YouTube channel in private all about why they broke up as friends. She hasn't um, put it on public yet because she says she'll do it at her own damn time when she feels like it. So is this the reason why Jackie is lashing out? Is Jackie curious? What's she talking about for 42 minutes? I want her to post things. I get on that hurry. Hey, mina, mina. Yeah, I will show you what lawyers are in Santin, honey. Contact from seven zero. I'm actually from seven zero. Yes, from seven zero. Better. Yeah, she knew me. What in twenty what? Twenty twenty what? Actually, when was it? The birthday that she went with me on was um, if I'm not mistaken, just before lockdown, which was twenty twenty one. Because my birthday is on the 3rd of March, which is this coming Friday. So that would have been um, just before lockdown. Because cause I know when we came back from the holiday, two weeks later, it was lockdown. It was the official lockdown. So do the math. Uh, I'm not a mathematician. That's why I'm an author. That's why I'm a criminologist. That's why I have sustainability. I'm a umbrella horror. Girl wanted to go to the beach with the, the, with the whole dress and situation. We were very, We were wearing bikinis. She wants to go with the, like a funeral parlor dress. Oh, she probably rent on YouTube, YouTube for that shit. I don't have time for that. She can do that. But I released that video. Perfect. I pray because ah, uh, what did I do now? Oh, welcome back to my channel. Ooh, creepy. How about the, what did I do to the to the stuff that I was doing? I don't want to listen to AKK because that's very emotional. I'll go back to Young Statna. I know, like, my team will be like, Jackie, you should not be on this live, mom. I was here to talk to the Bay Nation, and then some ass commented about this girl. Dude, I have... I have if you if you guys knew the people that I have... Um, I have fought. People that I have fought in court and out of court. You... You would not seriously take me lightly. Man, just because you, you 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 curse and you're loud and you are vile doesn't make you any smarter than any of us. Korasa go kago kamera ngudi tuko kamera nguli wan wona kara koro o boss a boss o yani wait until I post the stuff that I'm gonna post on Tuesday. You'll understand the level that I'm on. With flake flowers in the background and you think that you're you're all that. This you can you can say what you want in terms of commentary, but do not come for my name like that. My name is too expensive for you to speak about. You can't even afford a booking from me, man. You'll never and the funny thing is, you'll never even book me because I'm not your caliber. I'm not the caliber person you will sit with me and have a conversation with. What are you going to talk about? Some people's business? Let's talk about research. Let's talk about intellectual property. Let's talk about a master's degree. Let's talk about that. Can you talk about that? No. Talk about fucking your ass. That's what you want to talk about. Putting lotion on your titties. That's what you want to talk about. You want to disrespect me? Write a book and let's see how you feel. You probably not even write 10 pages. I don't write catalogs, I write books. I'm talking about 400 pages, 350 pages, 450 pages. Let's see if your boot can go. Can stretch them out. 
two words out of you, people will literally not even read your books. You disrespect me. The fuck? Yeah, it's a good thing that it's Monday tomorrow. Lawyers are working. I will be sleeping peacefully when my attorney works. I'm supposed to be working until like 2 o'clock, but I had my editor and my man over. We had a great time speaking about Bay 5 and the docu-series that we, we, um, the docu-series that we're releasing on the show Max. Just look at the deals I'm, I'm cracking. Like, the money I'm getting paid, I'm getting paid by Netflix, uh, by Netflix and Showmax. Can you think you can use me as a clip? I'll finish you. Watch me finish you, actually. I want you to watch me finish you. Yeah, you will continue doing YouTube, but honey, you, your bank balance will be at a minus once I'm done with you. I want you to post that video for everybody to see and watch me walk, literally mop the floor with you. I won't be, but the lawyers will be. I've got a, fin- I've got a book to finish. Damn, where's this thing that I'm looking for? I'm going to read your comments now, guys. I just need to find this thing. I wonder when you've got two Netflix accounts. So my man's Netflix account is here. He logged on. So it's the Jackie and the man on the far end. But then if I play international music, I'm gonna get barred. She probably doesn't understand what getting barred is. I've never done a, a, a live like this. It's because I'm I'm fairly pissed. Hey guys, I, I've, I've never been this happy at peace as I have been in a long time. So I, I'm very jovial, right? An emotional dysfunctionality. I have never, ever think of my come up. I have told you the truth, what has been through, what has happened. Mind you, I have never used drugs. And if she says in a video that I have used drugs, I will sue the living shit out of her. I said alcohol and sex. Alcohol and sex. Stick to that. Otherwise, you will be paying my bond for the next 20 years. Well, unless you've got 5 million to pay cash. So there you have it, Dibzansi. Just a few highlights from Jackie Pamuts' live. Um, she goes into a lot of detail. She talks about her home in Santin. She talks about her car, the Porsche, and the Audi. She talks about lawyers and suing Owami for 5 million rands if she posts that video and mentions uh, substances that she has never consumed in her life. Um, just to give you some background on that, it's because Jackie has allergies also jackie says and always has some kind of nose situation going on sniffing going on whenever she's on live or in her stories times there's always she's always sniffing so you know it's it's caused i'm guessing or i me to speculate allegedly on a substance uh usage at this point they were friends for two minutes they went on a trip together to durban they stayed at zimbali Jackie Pamotze footed the accommodation bill. Um, Owami paid for gas, which was approximately 2,000 rands. Jackie doesn't say how much the accommodation was. They went to the pool. Um, they went to the pool, and when they were going to the pool, <laughs> Jackie speculates that Owami was dressed in a funeral parlor dress. I, I don't know what to make out of this live. What are your thoughts on it? What's going on with Jackie? This is not the Jackie we're used to. I'm the author. She says she's a well, well educated hun. Um, she's with the master's degree and she speaks to universities and Oami, there's no way Oami can afford to pay her speaking rate, but then there's no reason for them to speak because she would never show up on Oami's podcast. Um, it's a lot. It's a lot to break down. 
What are your thoughts? What did you take out from it? What on earth is really going on? Because at the end of the day, Oami hasn't released the video. We just know it's a 42 minute video because she shared a screenshot of the video uploaded. Um, this is just, um, I don't know when we're going to get Oami's video. Are we going to get Oami's video now? Now that we know there are lawyers involved, lawyers calling Jackie to ask Jackie, when is the video? Where is the video? I don't know lawyers who call, but I guess, as she said earlier, alluded earlier that the lawyers want to get paid and she wants to pay her lawyers. Where is the video? Sounds to me like she and her lawyers are going to have a watch party going on. Very similar to what McGee did to the country with that, um, <laughs> podcast and chill at the cinema countrywide um, with black coffee interview according to twitter the interview wasn't worth there was nothing there they spoke they did not speak about anything bali i don't know i don't know it's just i don't know what's going on in the last couple of days should mac mac g let's just dissect that a little bit was it fair for mac g Oh, yes, they're saying that the teaser that they issued is not what they watched in the cinema. Therefore, people were misled into buying tickets. But these are chillers. You know, chillers, chillers will are diehards. They will buy tickets, merchandise, join subscription and everything. We haven't watched the interview. Strictly because I don't believe in paying for content. One of the reasons why we opened up this YouTube channel was to monetize the channel. And one of the options we have is um, subscriptions. And if you notice on our channel, we haven't activated that simply because something that I don't believe in hiding content and then requesting payment to see that content. I don't know. Maybe one day we will turn on that option. But for now, that's not something we want to do the ad revenue is great i think that's what we want to stick to we're also going to do merch we're definitely going to do merch um and the merch is going to happen when we hit 10,000 subscribers what's actually going to happen at 10,000 subscribers let me just clue you in uh while we talk about this we're going to have our merch issued we're pretty excited about that we already have our logo ready to go because Jackie was talking about branding and all that. I'm a huge, huge, huge branding fan. Um, so we have our brand ready to go. We also have our logo ready to go. We also have, hmm, let me see what else is there. What else we're supposed to do? Oh, actually a change in channel name. We already have our name ready to go. I don't want to mention it because I don't want people to take the channel, the links, the website and everything. So that's some stuff that's coming up. So on that note, if you haven't already subscribed, we're on our on the road to 10,000 YouTube subscribers. That is so surreal to us because this channel started late November, late November, early December. And now we're presently February 2023. And we're already talking road to 10,000 subscribers. That's just insane. So taking this moment to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all our supporters. Please continue to watch our videos. Please make sure to share this video. This is a great video to share. Let's get back on topic. We went off topic there for a second. This is a great video to share because these are two women who have done well I would say off of content, content creators. They're both artists in the entertainment space and equally so. One might drive a Porsche, one might drive uh, a Nissan. I think it's a Nissan. I can't remember Nissan what. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what car it is. They both created the revenue stream from their homes. I want to believe Jackie writes her books from her house. Oami shoots from her rental apartment. I don't think that by Jackie breaking down, I own a house in Santin, Oami's renting in Midrand. I don't think that was fair. I actually think that was below the belt, Jackie. I really do think that was below the belt. Um, you are one person who goes into schools and universities. People look up to you. 
um, what are you taking out from that? That you should look down upon people with less. Once you make it, it's now time to look down upon that. I'll, I'll use Connie, Connie Ferguson as an example. And I know that's one person that Jackie comments a lot on her feed, but I wouldn't see Connie ever, ever, ever doing a live and having a rant about somebody who might not live in the same neighborhood as she does, who might not drive the same car as she does, who might not have access to the same society as Connie Ferguson has. I just think it was tacky. It was below the belt. It was unnecessary. We're not choosing sides because OAM hasn't released her video. We are definitely going to comment on that as well. But I just think Jackie lost the plot on this one. And for someone who's an author, international author, as she proclaims, was this rant necessary? At some point, she should have put her phone down. Which, thankfully, in my opinion, <laughs> the life just abruptly ended. Whew! Because that was going to go on forever. She was ticked off. Whoever that person was who made that oami comment changed the mood of the room changed the mood for jackie jackie went on and on and on and on about oami for someone who proclaims she doesn't care about her that was two hours worth of a rant that was a long time for someone who doesn't care about someone for someone who drives a porch for someone with a book coming up for someone with a birthday for someone with the sundays for lovers that was a long time i don't know your thoughts let me know guys what you think i definitely want to hear what you think about that rant and keep in mind jackie promotes is the one who started it jackie started this over there by twitter or instagram stories when she commented unprovoked on owami's um video with Noni. And I don't know why Jackie refers to Noni as a civil servant. Does anybody know why Jackie is referring to Noni as a civil servant? Because she says she stood out to defend civil servants. Is Noni a civil servant or a self-proclaimed dating coach? That's it from us. And thanks for joining us. Like, guys, I've been honest with you. I have told you everything about me. It's in the Blesses game. If you read the Blesses game and you read the hockey club, I have given myself to you. Unfiltered. I didn't lie about no shit. I told you about me dating an older guy. I told you about me staying in like back rooms, hustling my way through um, Santin, you know, doing the modeling thing. It's in the book. It's in a I am in a different league than Oami. I don't care about Oami. Can we do the maths, guys? I've been... I live in Joburg. I come from Joburg. I was born in Soweto. I'm a Joburger. Come on. It only makes sense that I live in Santin. I don't live in Midrand. I live in Santin. My house is in Santin. The house that I'm filming this in is, is in is in Santon. I live here. I studied. I went to school. I have nine books under my belt. I'm on my tenth book. And you're telling me about Owami? Like, please go be by. Like, what the fuck? Like, get out of here. I'm a scholar. I get invited to universities to give lectures. Do you understand? Look at my social media feed. I go to Vids, I go to UCT, I go to Harvard. And you're telling me about Owami? Like, get the fuck out of here. My books are used as research in universities. I have a television series going to stream on television. I have a documentary on Showmax. And you want to tell me about Owami? Get the fuck out of here. I've worked hard for my brand. I have a 15 year span in the industry in the in entertainment industry as a whole entertainment so radio fashion industry and writing 
arts industry. And you're gonna tell me about Owami who got to Joburg in 2021? 1800. Oh, she's so cute. <laughs> she's so cute. Award winning entertainment blogger and of course content creator, my darling. I